How's it going, everybody? This is Luke from Coffee House, and today is uh, the first episode in kind of like a long series of videos relating to this X Bloom. Because I don't know if you saw the last video, but we have decided to sell these. Um, originally, I was kind of skeptical about like new tech in the coffee world. You know, we see it every day on Kickstarter and everything like that, and I was. I didn't know if it was right for the shop. I'm pretty picky about what goes in, but you know, I've really found a way to like this. And this video, I'm, you know, we're gonna do a million videos. We're gonna do like all of the deep dives. I got a guy who wrote me an email the other day and asked me like nine million questions about the X Bloom, like all of the technical features and everything. And I wanna make a video about each one because I think they're all interesting and I think it's all valid questions. So I wanna get into it. But the first video, I wanted to make it as basic as possible. And that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna do a video basically on what is the easiest out of the box way to just get good coffee out of this thing? Like how can I take it out of the box? How can I plug it in and just like brew good coffee? And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna brew some coffee and I'm gonna just tell you the things that I use and the techniques that I use to make it really perfect. So anyways, let's just get in. You know, I don't wanna make it too, uh, too much of like a long talking video. I just wanna run with it. So anyways, we've got here, um, this is the reusable dripper. And so what this is, is it is, um, it has a little NFC on the bottom. You can see I use it a lot, that brown. I mean, like it's kind of stained the sticker on there, but whatever. Anyways, uh, magnetic little reusable dripper. So I have a pre-wet Kalita 155 filter in here. So the Kalita 155, they also make a 185, but that's too big for these. Um, X Bloom says they're gonna come out with their own filters. As to when that is, I'm not 100% positive. Anyways, uh, this is what we're gonna use. Otherwise, you're gonna see these pods here. Those are what uh, originally the X Bloom like marketplace coffee will come in. You see matcha on my head. Uh, but yeah, so this is what they would come in otherwise. Anyways, we're gonna use this. This is what comes out of the box. And there is a recipe pre-programmed on this from factory that I think is actually pretty decent. So we're gonna go ahead, touch that there. And so what you can see on the front, also make sure that magnet gets back on there. See up here, see these are the parameters that they've set from the factory for us. Pretty coarse grind pretty hot temperature of water, and a pretty you know middle ratio, probably one to 17, one to 16 there. And um, what this recipe calls for is 15 grams of coffee, but what we're gonna do is bump it up a little bit. 18 grams of coffee is gonna go into this pot. I've found that this gets us a perfect extraction for this specific recipe, as coarse as the grind is. You know, we wanna accommodate for that. So anyways, um, yeah, let's get to brewing. But first, I wanna talk about third wave water here. So this is uh, just a water treatment. It's gonna set a baseline. So the things that I'm telling you right now about coffee, you can be able to replicate this exact recipe at home if you use something like this, which we have in the shop, uh, third wave water. It's basically a mineral packet that you add to a gallon of distilled water, and it sets the right coffee water for you. So the right mineral blend to make a good cup of coffee at home. It's optimized for making coffee. This is the classic. They also have a light roast, dark roast, espresso profile, all the different ones to accommodate uh, the coffees that you like. Anyways, let's get into it. What I wanna do is I'll use uh, one of these just to weigh it out, but I've got a fellow scale here. This and the, um, the Akaya Pearl are your best options for a scale like this. Also, the Lunar is really good, but I mean, this is great too. So this is the fellow Tally, which is a good scale. We're using uh, some of our coffee here. This is uh, our collaboration with Obsessed Garage. So, you know, really great people um, and they really love our coffee and we really love them. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna brew with this today because this I think just tastes amazing out of the gate. So I'm gonna weigh out 18 grams here. Let me get that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Get a couple of those out of there. So There we go, close enough. There's gonna get a, be a little bit of retention in there anyway. So probably get 18 out of it. So we already tapped up here. I've got water third waved in the reservoir. Turn off my scale. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour the coffee right in there. So that's it. And then what I'm gonna do, grab my cup and let me actually get a larger cup. Give me just a second. Ooh, look, I found the X Bloom branded coffee mug. Uh, very fitting. Anyways, we're gonna pop that under there. And one thing I mentioned too, is if you have access to a little spray bottle or something, I like to do a little spritz on the coffee beans. It's gonna help counteract any static that's gonna come out, come out of any grinder that you get. So it's not just like a X Bloom thing, it's really any grinder if they don't have anti-static tech. Anyways, we're gonna just go ahead, tap this here, and it's gonna do its thing. You're gonna see it move over. You're gonna see it begin to grind the coffee, which is rather loud, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. 
but it's gonna do its thing. And so it has a load sensor inside of there. So when it detects that there's no more coffee to grind, it's gonna stop. It's not like a dosing thing. So we're almost done there. So you'll hear it overrun now. I'll get my mic close to there. And then stop. And then stop. There we go. And so it's gonna move back over for you and we're gonna be good to go. So it's gonna do what is that little first bloom. So it's gonna go ahead and make that initial first pour, get everything saturated, and it's gonna to go to town. And what I love about this right now is the fact that I'm doing my morning routine. You know, I would make pour overs at home, but this, I mean, this would just, the pour overs would take so long, I'd have to heat the water. I'd have to do the actual pour over. And what I got at the end of the day was not a very consistent cup of coffee because I myself am not a perfect machine. I can't pour perfect pours every time, anything like that. But what this can do is pour a perfect pour and it can do it without me having to babysit it. So I can do my thing in the morning, I can get ready, and this just makes a solid repetition cup of coffee. It just does it every single time and it doesn't skip a beat. I've put probably, I mean, it's been 200 days or so since I um, started brewing with this and I've used it every day and you know, everybody else in the household uses it. It's probably made 500 cups or so and it has not skipped a beat, uh, which is great. You know, I, I really do enjoy it. I'm interested to see though, you know, I wanna be fully transparent. I'm interested to see when it does break, what's going to actually break because everything breaks, um, especially something with moving parts. So we're gonna see when it gets there. I'm excited to do also when these, this episode, you know, teardowns, I wanna get into everything in here, the grinder assembly, all of the back ends, how all of the water pumps, all of those little actuators work. I'm really interested to see the inner workings of it. And I know we've gotten tons of emails with questions asking things like that. Can you tear one down? You know, can you show me the inside of the burrs? Everything like that. So we're gonna do all of that, which is exciting. But like I said, first, you know, perfect kind of first video into this series is just to do like, okay, I want an X bloom. What is the easiest way to make uh, a cup of coffee out of the box. You know, I don't wanna think about the app. I don't wanna think about uh, the different pods. I just want like to buy a good coffee and I wanna make it just good out of the gate. And so, so what I wanna do accomplish today is just talking about how can I do a good cup of coffee right out of the gate without having to spend time connecting to the app and everything like that. And so not that it is inherently difficult to do any of those things, but I want to at least establish a baseline for people who are enjoying uh, you know, the X bloom right out of the gate. And so, I mean, uh, finish wise, everything, like it's a good looking machine. It sits so comfortably on my cabinetry. Like it just, it just has a nice uniform profile to it and it does the things right. Um, extractions have been great. I think the 18 grams on this specific recipe just makes for a really pleasant cup of coffee. And I think that was the thing for me, like when I first tried this coffee, uh, right out of the gate, I was like, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. I was actually pleasantly surprised because uh, you know, I thought with the grinder and the dose, it was always gonna be a little light. You ever have like the hotel Keurigs or anything like that? They always make just like the lightest, worst cup of coffee and how they counteract that is roasting it really dark and they just roast not great coffee. So I can just hear the fan kicked off there. So it's gonna beep in a second and you can see it's just draining. So it should be on that last step on there. So you can see it right there but um, it's just gonna drain. There's that beep indicating that it is done with the brewing process. I think it beeps again to indicate it's like kind of done with the dripping process. I assume that's just a timer thing because it's not gonna predict that, but it's finishing up there. What I like too is it really doesn't like have a lot of residual drip. Like, you know, you throw a V60 on the counter, it kind of drips for like an hour. This doesn't really do that. But what you do see here is when you don't use the RDT, all of this little static is gonna kind of fall intermittently. You wanna make sure that that's not gonna fall into your drink. So just a thought, um, what I like to do is a little spray bottle, one spritz on the beans and you're gonna be good to go. Anyways, we're pretty finished here. So what I'm gonna do, reach around, swap that out. You know, I just like to catch any of those drips, but that's an X bloom coffee. Uh, this brews about 250 mils for this recipe. So, all, you know, not a fully full cup, but this is kind of, you know, the amount of coffee that I drink in the morning, but anyways, We'll go for a taste and then we'll wrap it up here. I wanna keep this kind of quick, you know, sub 10 minute, right out of the gate. How do you brew the best cup of coffee without having to do anything big? Yeah, I mean, just so solid. It's exactly what I think everybody who's watching this is gonna be looking for. It's just like that pour over level quality right out of the gate. I don't have to think about dialing in recipes or buying pods in the marketplace or worrying about roast dates. You just buy a good bag of coffee, freshly roasted, 
you throw it in here, 18 grams, original recipe programmed on there, and you are solid right out of the gate. That doesn't mean that the programmed recipes are bad inherently or anything like that. We're gonna do a ton of those with our coffees, and they have a ton of those, and you can download the app, program this pod into any which way that you want, change the grind size, play around, but I think baseline, I wanted to set like an episode one as just um, a good first step into this. So I'm looking forward to episode two and three and however many more. Uh, as to what we'll do, we'll get more into the technical side of things, start answering some questions that you may have, and uh, we're gonna go from there. Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Luke from Coffee House. We've got the X Bloom, we've got the third wave water, we've got the coffee, we've got the scales, we've got everything uh, in the store. So please go ahead, poke around, let me know if you have any questions. Emails down below, luke at coffeeha.us, the website. Uh, yeah, very excited to hear your thoughts. Thanks again, I'll talk to you soon.